Hello everybody. Um, we're back with another What Sold video. Now, this video might seem a little different. I'm going to try a couple things. Um, for some reason, I cannot record um, video and my screen at the same time anymore. So, um, some issue with the software. Uh, I'll have to work on it, fix it, maybe just try something else. Anyway, um, so this video is just going to be um, my voice and uh, the screen. Alright, so let's look at everything we sold. Um, now this is for the last week, which I believe was June... I believe it would be June 1st through um, June 7th. Um, so... Let's get right into it. All right. Up first, we sold this Lord and Taylor V-neck. Um, this is a this was a pure cashmere sweater, and I believe this came from the 110 inventory box. I could be mistaken. Um, if that's the case, um, we're looking at paying. We paid about six dollars for this, and I think posh fees on this would probably be three dollars. Uh, so, yeah, we probably made um, oh, and then five about five dollars for shipping. Yeah, so it looks like we probably made like about eight eight bucks on this. All right, up next are the this pair of um, Frank Starro um, heels. Now these we got from a Goodwill trip uh, on a dollar day. So I think they were about, I don't believe they were a dollar. I think they were like $4. So we made a profit of about, about $11 probably on this. Uh, so pretty good profit. Um, pretty good profit for shoes. I mean, shoes are really easy for me to, to um, these are really easy for me to shoot, so not a lot of work went into getting those up. All right, up next is this um, Fabletics um, tank top, and this came from a reseller box. Yeah, I believe this came from a reseller box. Um, anyway, um, so the reseller boxes, I think... They normally are about ten dollars an item, so not really a whole lot of profit on this, but it did sell pretty quickly. So um, that's always that's always good. Um, you know, I I don't run a warehouse. I run a closet on Poshmark. So getting stuff in, getting it out, that's that sometimes is better than getting the really really big sale because that frees up that gives me more money that I can spend on other stuff that I can then continue to make profit off of. All right, up next is this J. Crew flower skirt. Um, now this this I think was also from the uh, the massive inventory, the 110 inventory box we got. So this. Um, yeah, so this we probably are looking where we made around um, eleven dollars on it, and you know I probably should have totaled all this up before I started. Okay, up next we have this J Crew V neck. Um, now I think this was out of a Thread Up box, so we probably Thread Up boxes. It's normally around two to three dollars an item, um, so really not a whole lot of profit on this. But I think this is something that we weren't entirely sure that it would sell or not and it sold really quickly so again you know not necessarily about making the big profit but definitely about just moving items through um you know uh same thing with this skirt now i yeah i this was also a uh a thread up box i believe so roughly the same um you know only just a very little profit maybe like three or four bucks profit but again we moved it we moved items through 
Okay, now these did come from a Goodwill haul. Um, these were a haul we did back in January, I believe. We were looking for some, and we were looking for some workout attire in particular. Um, the idea being that the workout stuff would sell really well in January with people doing New Year's resolutions. And to an extent it did. Um, now these, these were only a dollar. So even though they only sold for $10, we still ended up making around like $4 off of them. Um, and they moved, eh, they, I guess they didn't really move through that fast, but it was a good, it's still, it's still profit. <laughs> Still profit. All right, now these uh, did come from a reseller box. Um, I believe the reseller box was only like twenty dollars in total. I mean, it was only a few items. I think it was something my wife had worked out um, online. Um, anyway, these, yeah, they. Oh. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, these, if we paid about $20 for the box, I believe there's four items, so I probably paid about $5 for these. Um, and when you take posh fees and shipping and all that stuff into consideration, we probably made $8 off this. All right, now this was from a, I believe this was from a dollar haul. Uh, so a, a Goodwill haul, dollar days. So this was only a dollar and we sold it for $40. So we're looking at probably a $30 profit off of this. That is a, that's really, really good um, for something that we paid a dollar for. I mean, you know, it's, I always, I always try to look at the margins rather than, um, rather than the total that I sell something for. Uh, just because, you know, if I, if I, I could pay $50 for a pair of jeans and then sell them for $60. And that's the same as if I pay a dollar for a pair of jeans and sell them for $11. So it's really all about the margins. And this one had a really good margin. I'm really happy with this sale. All right. Up next is this um, t-shirt. Now this was from a, this is from something that I believe my wife ordered. She ordered this box online from Goodwill. Um, so it was a pretty, uh, it was pretty cheap. Um, I don't remember exactly what the price was, but we did, um, this shirt did have some, uh, a little, a few stains on it. And so I did have to wash it and then, um, reshoot it. And after I, so it did take a little bit more work than what normally goes into um, uh, selling a shirt. Uh, normally, normally I'll just uh, steam it, uh, shoot it, and then we'll sell it as is. Um, but anyway, uh, this sold for $10 and this shirt actually did have some flaws in it that you can't really see in the photo. So my wife felt bad about it and we ended up sending another shirt with um, in the package with this shirt. So all in all, this shirt you know, it, it's kind of a wash on the, uh, as far as profits go, but, um, it does help build that, uh, it does help build a little bit of goodwill with the, with the customers. Um, and you'll also notice that this has a rainbow, um, at the beginning of the name. That's something else that my wife does where, um, she will take certain items and she'll put, she'll put like a little emoji at the beginning of their name and then anything with that emoji next to it is on sale. So that's why you're seeing this sold for $10. I believe that anything with a rainbow is $10. Okay, up next we have this Free People black bodysuit. Now it says it sold for $40, but this was actually sold as part of a bundle with another Free People bodysuit. Um, that the whole bundle sold for $50. Now, both of those did come from um, consignment store boxes, which roughly are, they're normally 10 to $15 per item in those. So we sold two bodysuits 
that we paid somewhere between 20 and 30, we'll say $25, and the bundle sold for $50. Now, overall, that gives us about, that gives us probably, what, 20, eh, a little, we'll say 15 probably around $15 in profit once you take posh fees and shipping into account, um, which is not bad on two items. Again, um, always looking at the margins and always um, always looking to sell fast. So this is the other bodysuit that sold as part of that bundle. Um, you'll see that we had it marked at 36, but um, again, we bundled them, they bundled them together and we sold it for 50. All right. Up next are these Vince Camuto, um boots. Uh, these were part of a shoe bundle that I don't think I made a video on. Um, anyway, um, they were a reseller shoe bundle, so I believe we paid about there were five there were five things in that box, and I believe we paid around. $40 for it, so probably around $8 for it. Um, so this one pair almost covered the entire box. Um, almost. Um, so really, really happy about being able to being able being able to cover an entire box with just one sale. Um, that means that everything else that sells out of the box is pure profit. Um, so it's nice. And as always, shoes are really, really easy to shoe. Um, I mean, these boots were a little bit more difficult because we had to stuff them so they stood upright, but shoes are super easy to shoe. Um, they're one of the easiest things I can shoe other than skirts, so I'm always happy with those because that it just that just little bit less, the little bit, uh, how can I how can I put this without sounding really, really callous? If I can if I can shoot something really fast, that means I can list more things. That means more things can be listed, more things will sell. That means I can make more money faster. And that's what I'm looking to do. All right, up next is this free people um, dress. Now this, um, this actually sold, this might be out of, um, Yeah, this is this was outside of the window because um, this sold today, but I'm going to include it because I'm already on the roll here. Anyway, uh, this was from a um, consignment store box, and it, um, yeah, so it was probably about fifteen dollars. Uh, sold for sixty-five, so that's fifty dollars, and then. Poshmark fees, I think they're 20%, so that's probably about, about 10 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking at we made about $40 off this one dress, which um, doesn't didn't wouldn't quite cover the um, consignment store box, but um, pretty pretty close. And it sold pretty quickly. So um, again, really really happy about this one. Um, up next is this Endless Rose. Um, again, this is outside of the window that I set, but I make the rules. Um, so, because this sold, this sold this morning. I mean, maybe it sold last night, so I can keep it in. Um, anyway, uh, this um, was out of a thread up box. Um, so it was only like $3, and we sold it for $36. Um, so the Poshmark fees and everything probably made about $20. $20 off this. And last we have these anthropology um, joggers. Uh, now these were out of the um, big box, I believe. So about $6 for the item. Yeah, again, we're looking at about, uh, I'd say probably about $20, just under $20 in pure profit. So another really good sale. All right, and that's gonna do it. Now, some of these items were outside of our um, window, but, you know, um, I make the rules on these, so I get to decide what is in the window. Now, this is a lot less sales than we got last week. Um, 
Last week, my wife ran a sale during the weekend, and it just got us a bunch of sales. Uh, she didn't do that this weekend, um, so we didn't get as many sales, but we still made a pretty good amount. And um, I will say, a uh, little inside baseball, I'm recording this, I mean, I'm recording this on the 9th of June, and... Um, so we're just entering into June, and May was actually our best month ever in sales. And um, June last year was when we started reselling. So that's that's a good trend. We did take uh, we did take a little bit of hit around the holidays, and then with um, you know the other stuff that's happening, it did um, it did affect our sales. But now we're getting right back up, and we're starting to get back to the moment we're actually back to the momentum that we had been building. So um, here's looking forward to having uh, this next year be even better than last year. I think it's pretty much guaranteed because we have, you know, six month head start. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All of that stuff's below. Um, I'm pointing down there like I normally do, but you can't see it because this is audio only. So um, I'll try to figure out the how to do the yeah, yeah. I'll try to figure out how to do the audio and video together. Um, if not, I'll just keep doing them audio only. Uh, be sure to comment if you think that audio only works. Um, I mean, if it if it's fine, then uh, there's no point in having to look at my face and see me make dumb faces during these. All right. Until next time, I've been Charles, and I'll see you.